श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा नमामि भगवत पाद शंकर लोक शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्र भाष्य कृत वे भगवत पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरत्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम दुकारस्वंधकारो वै ऋकारस्तवर्तक अंधकार निरोधि गुरुरीध्य विधीय सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यवाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा सह बीज करवाजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मिषावी शांति 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 ओ पूर्णमध पूर्णमिध पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शांति 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 ईशावास्य यगत्याजगत तेन त्यक्न चेता मृधक सिद्धन जिजिविषेत गुंसमा 
ಅನೇಜಿಯಹ ಅನೈನತ್ತೇವಾಪ್ನುವಂತೂರ್ವರ್ಷತ್ತೋಮಾತರಿಶ್ವಾಧಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯೇವಾಶ್ಯೂತೇಷು ಚಾತ್ಮಾಜುಗುಪ್ಸೇ ಯಸ್ವಾಣಿ ಭೂತ ಆತ್ಮೇವಾಭೂತವಿಜಾನತಾಶ್ಯತುಕ್ರಮಕಾಯಣ ಶುಕ್ರಮಕಾಯ ಅಸ್ತಾನಾಪವಿಮನೀಷೀ ಪರಿಪು ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂಷೀ ಪರಿಪು ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂಥಾತೋರ್ಥಾಚ್ಛತಿಭ್ಯ ಸಾಪ್ಯ ಉಪಾಸಮೋಯ್ಯಾಮೃತಾ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿ ಹೆವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ರ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಥಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಧರ್ಮ and second third mantra is for agna from fourth to eighth mantra is we can say is for atma gnanam so in atma gnanam we is it the character is lakshana of atma gnanam not atma gnanam lakshana of atma lakshana of atma and ಫಲಕಥಮ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಫಲಕಥನ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಿ ಹೆಸಿ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ 
fifth and eighth these three mantra describe the lakshana of atma and sixth and seventh are called falkathana yastu sarvani bhutani atme bhut vijanata tatra koma ko shoka and navijukupsat a two mantra are for falkathana in four five and last eight one shashvati vyasa paryagat that we have seen is for lakshana so three mantra for lakshana two mantra for atma gnana and here one topic what yesterday i have said with regard to atma gnana is over now from ninth onward we will see upasana karma in what will happen to upasaka when that person living his life so all description are given but before entering this i would like to show something according to shastra they say there are four type of people in this world first category means eat drink marry so khao piyo maja kar eat drink and marry there are one category of people another category they follow shastra but only karma part karma kandi another name is given is called karma taha karma means they do karma like agnihotra hotra or other rituals they are not interested even in upasana meditation they are only perform different type of karma are called karma ta second category third category of people are called upasaka upasaka so they do different type of medic upasana so they perform only upasana only means only they perform only upasana they never perform their karma here karma also we can say agni hotra and we can karma is our own duties in karma yoga so this people upasaka they never perform a last category if for us atma gnani means pursue of atma gnani so one who are interested in atma gnani nowadays more people are this eat drink and marry they are not interested to perform their own duty they are not interested to perform any karma which are given in shastras first portion means vedas first portion they never do anything it is we can say like uh, in 16th chapter no asuras they are only interested in khao piyo maja kare so here these are not counted here but majority people nowadays are like this only. second what we have seen karma tha agni hotra to shastra says he when performing their own duty in different type of karma these people 
after death they will go to even swarga they may be go pitru loka because performing agni hotra very a ritual they earn lots of punya so because of this punya they can go up to pitru loka and swarga there are upasakas they are keep on doing different type of upasana the meaning of upasana one has to be careful they pick up like sampat upasana what we have described or ahangra upasana so generally they are interested in siddhis so by living they can have siddhis they say they like different type of siddhi they can read the person's mind they but they use this siddhi for their own income or something and after death also this upasaka can go higher lokas compared to swarga or pitru loka they will go higher loka <clears throat> so this swarga loka we say suva bhuva bhuva suva then we can say maha janaha tapah satyam this type of loka these people go and atma gnani one who are interested in atma gnana they will perform karma also they will do upasana also but they are not interested in swarga pitru loka or even any type of so now which now we are going to a portion is discussion about not atma gnani people what we are saying even the discussion is not for first category means eat drink and marry not for such people now description is given in this isha vasya nishad is karmata and upasaka and this uh, shastra means this ishavasya upanishad particularly they criticize people who are performing mere karma ishavasya upanishad criticize a people who are performing only upasana they say this people should do both karma also and upasana also in the combination of karma and upasana they say is a samuchaya so karma plus jnana in technical language is actually samuchaya is to make make together samuchaya so is the combination of both so one has to perform their own duty as a karma and one has to perform gnana is called samuchaya so the result of both they will get more karma karma tha we go and get only swarga but if they perform upasana they will go to higher lok that's why now in this all mostly four or five verses they first in first mantra they will criticize karma only they criticize gnana mundi in the next mantra they say these people should do samuchay means they have to do both karma and gnana so this topic we will see but before this also this is i would like to show some sadhyam he i have said there are two type of marga marga dvaya so this people sadhyam is to be achieved is called sadhya so swarga is sadhya higher lokas are also called sadhyas to go after death 
like swarga in higher loka this people perform karma so here we we just skip this karma so this people are called the karmatha karmatha shankaracharya ji likes karmatha karmatha plural in this are called i just keep removing this this are called upasaka they perform upasana they perform different rituals so they are not interested in anything they say this vedanta portion is only what we say is only praising what we say in technical word artha artha patti no something is only praising is it there it is no main substance available in vedanta this some the technical word is but they are following this only so he says he, he said after death this people if karmata are died they will go through krishna marga the path of darkness or well, not darkness but is a smoky this is smoky path and this people will go here and even say mere upasaka they will go little bit higher the still they will go here means whatever higher loka even they go i think krishna marga on smoky path but shastra says what is recommended for them both of them you have to perform karma upasana samuchaya samuchaya means combination of both so what will happen to this people if they combine karma and upasana so they say after death this people will go the path is called shukla marga another is called uttara marga here is it will come here called dakshina dakshina marga or this is smoky miss krishna here is called shukla and they will go up to the brahma loka these people if they perform both karma and upasana and having reach brahma loka they can have krama mukti so they will reach brahma loka and brahma ji himself will teach what we are studying here means whatever what is our real nature will be taught by brahma ji and then they will be released they will be have atma gnanam they want to come back in this so they say this karma and upasana mere is a avrutti means sansare punah agavana kshine punye martya lokam vishanti mere karma tha mere upasana but combination he says they will reach up to brahma loka then anavrutti avrutti means repetition anavrutti means na punarapi jananam na punarapi maran and they will go by shukla marga this will go by krishna marga so this is now discussion will start total topic will be changed so i thought let me do some introductory part then if we enter in mantra then it will be easy even there are many ha huh? ha huh? it is the highest in this universe which one is the highest loka is brahma loka so brahma loka means to go near hiranya garbha then there is a no come back just right hmm? later means yeah they can they can stay there how long brahma ji lives brahma ji time we know how much they love so they can enjoy there because they would like to enjoy so they can enjoy brahma loka meantime they will learn there 
what is the real nature of Atma and everything, and from there, they won't come back. Nine chapter, Kshine Punya Marthya Lokam Vishanti, but this is are given in eighth chapter. This is what I am showing here is given in eight, no, nine, eighth chapter. And still, I think we have discussed, I don't know here or I don't know. But there are two types of mukti. One is called Sadhya Mukti. Sadhya. And another is called Krama Mukti. Mukti means liberation. Moksha. And moksha is not after death, according to moksha means to know who am I. So it is called muktihi. It is a two type. One is called sadhya. Sadhya means immediate. And kram means stepwise. So here, if jivatma perform karma yoga, then perform upasana and then shravan, manan and nididhyasana. So all upasana, if sadhaka performs, we don't know how many janma or whatever, but from here only, this sadhaka can have direct moksha. That person need not to go any swarga loka, any loka. Here only, they have just a mukti. It is called sadhya mukti, sadhya mukti or sadhya mukti. Immediate. Because this person is not interested in any type of loka. Many nowadays, we don't know, but before, many this, in those days, people would like to go swarga loka, brahma loka. So this is called sadhya. Sadhya is equal to immediate, no need to go. But this krama mukti, what we say, this combination of both karma, their own duty means they do yagni hotra and everything, plus upasana. And they are interested, they are doing with sakam, you know. They are doing with some desire. If I perform karma, I will go to swarga. If I perform upasana, I can have siddhi or I go some higher loka. But still, if they combination, if they combine both karma and upasana, these people will reach to Brahma loka. And from Brahma loka, what I have written here, they have mukti. So they can stay for long time. So 4.33 multiplied by 10 raised to 32. This much years they will stay in Brahma Loka and then they have Mukti. It's called Krama, stepwise. First year they will do this Karma and Upasana, then the Brahma Loka, and Brahma Loka is Mukti. But even Jnana they will take in Brahma Loka. Because if they reach Brahma Loka, their mind must be clear. Otherwise, these people cannot reach Brahma Loka. Even we, you know, they always we criticize karma and upasana. But to perform karma, to do upasana, need a disciplined mind. Disciplined life, it is not easy. So if they do properly, they definitely will grow Brahma Loka. And if any person reach Brahma Loka, must be they have purified their mind. If they reach there in Brahma Loka, start teaching, Atma Gnana, Tattva Masi, everything, if Brahmaji teaches, then what to turn? So from there, they will get definitely Mukti. So this is called Sadhya Mukti, and this is called uh, Krama Mukti. So right now, what we have seen from third to eight, Mantra is talked about Sadhya Mukti and now they will talk about Krama Mukti 
but in between krama mukti first the the style of this ishavasya upanishad with from eight verse they first criticize karma then they criticize upasana and they say why you are doing separate separate you should do both karma you perform you perform also upasana you will get better result so this way this upanishad will go Still, I have downloaded one thing. Today only I have put. It is also interesting. Just I would like to show. One minute. Where will the download? This one. So manushyaha are two types. So here we have to again put karma plus upasana. So manushya, if karma tha, according to Shankara, so they are, you know, rigid in perform only karma. Such people after death. This, this Gati is called Krishna Gati. The name of this Gati is Krishna Gati. The path, what I have written, is smoky. It's like, you know, hazy. And while reaching Svarga or Pitru Loka, they say many devtas are available, many messengers are available to guide us. Like early days when we go to cinema, you know, if there is a darkness, there is a person to guide this switch. You have to, this is your switch. Sit. Same way, this all many devtas are available to guide this karmata. And the name of this devta is Duma Devta, Radri Devta, Krishna Devta, and they will reach to Svargaloka. And from there, Shene Punye, Bhartya Lokam Vishanti. They will come back to Martya Loka. They will enjoy there. So if we can say our one year is equal to one year of Indra or Devtas, but their one year is equal to 100 days. There are some count, I don't remember, but this is in same way, this Karmatha plus Upasaka Martya, one who has nature to die, to be died is called Martya. Marana Yogya is called Martya. So it's one who deserve for death. So we all are called Martya Loka. So if one who has body, definitely they have to go. So in this Prutvi Loka, all are born, all are gone. So one who are subject to death, all are called Martya. So this whole Prutvi Loka is called Martya Loka. This is the name of Prutvi Loka. Our own Loka is called Martya Loka because each and every being are subject to die. That's why it's a Martya Loka. So here again I have written Upasaka plus Karmatha. So if they perform both, so after death, what will happen to this? This karmatha will go by Krishna Gati. They will go by Shukla Gati. This karmatha's mark are smoky, means dark. This mark are bright. It's highly tejasi, bright path. Here also, many devtas, means messengers are available to guide this jivatma. Please come, please come. This is your way to go up to the Brahma Loka. And this is everything given in 8th chapter of Gita. I have just given. 
तो इसे अग्नि देवता ज्योति देवता अहह देवता शुक्ल देवता इवन क्षण मासा देवता ऑल आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ देव देवता दे विल गाइड दिस जीवात्मा इन दिस वे दैट पर्सन रीचेस टू ब्रह्म लोक सो आफ्टर रीचिंग ब्रह्म लोक व्हाट ब्रह्म जी डज ब्रह्म जी टीचेस द रियल नेचर ऑफ अस हु एम आई सो मे बी सेम चांदोदय सदैव सोमय बी दमंगना से एवरीथिंग and from there after having gone through all teaching and taught by brahma ji that person will be released means he has liberation and this is called krama mukti why gnani has satya mukti this is krama mukti upasaka means upasana plus karma one who perform these people will go by this way this karma tha will reach up to the pitru loka or maximum swarga loka even one who has studied kathopanishad in kathopanishad nachiketa has asked yamadharma raja give some ritual by performing that ritual people of this prithvi loka can go to swarga then he taught whole ritual in the name of that ritual is nachi ketas yaga available in ved nachi he says you have asked so i am given the name of this yagna is nachi ketas so he taught everything nachi ketas yaga because it belongs to nachi keta that's why nachi ketas and he says this yamadharma raja one who does upasana of this nachiketas yagna so by performing nachiketas yagna the person can go up to swarga but he says one who perform upasana the meaning of upasana means whatever mantras are given in nachiketas yagna yaga if that person chant through mind is called upasana in our mind upasana is something in sitting in front of our deity and something if we perform that much is called upasana is not like that so whatever mantras are available in nachiketas yaga if person do everything mentally upasana so this person will go up to brahma loka this is special boon given by yamadharma raj this is called only nachi ketas yaga is karma mere karma and this with upasana and karma this person will go to brahma loka so there are many mantras must be available no in nachi ketas yagna this all mantra we have to by heart then after by hearting we have to chant through mind only nothing else this is called upasana so this is the style i think everything must have gone in your mind vita press kora so now we are entering andattam pravishanti ye avidyam upasate tatah bhuya ivate tamah ye u vidyayam rata i have done everything but i one thing i did do is anvaya of this but i will put so there is two word here avidya in here vidya so meaning of a vidya is equal to mere karma so these are technical words we have to remember and here the meaning of vidya is not a brahma vidya atma vidya but here the meaning of vidya is upasana so 
So Shastra says, ye avidyan upasate. Here the upasate is not again upasana, but performing karma, karmatha, mere karma. So ye, ye janaha, a people who perform mere karma, avidyam upasate, then what will happen to them? So Shastra says, andhattavaha pravishanti. They will enter in darkness. Andhattamaha means total darkness. Tamaha means darkness. Andha means hard, very hardcore or darkness. So this is the slot of karmatha. So when they say they are entering in a darkness, it's called ninda. It is called criticizing. If you are performing karma, and these people are thinking by performing karma, I will go to Swarga. It is this is not wrong. You will enter in Andhakara. So another people they say okay, we will perform upasana. So he says this is the another slot. He says, Ye vidyayam rataha. So one who is always engaged, rataha means they always engaged. Where? Vidyaya. So they say we won't perform any karma, we don't do any duty, but we perform only upasana. So what is the karma phala for them? So they say tataha. Tata means therefore guyaha. Again, te tamaha. They also entering in tamaha only. They also will enter in that. So one guyaha means again in a So one who performs mere karma, they will also enter in darkness. And one who always engage in upasana, these people also, means they, those people also, tamaha bhūyaha pravishanti. Bhūyaha, they have given even more darkness. More. He says bhūyaha means more. They will enter more in darkness. Means both karmathar also criticize. At the same time, these upasana, upasakas are also criticized. So, I think this old bhashyam, no? I think it is, uh, I have done today this old homework for you. So in Bhashyam, because until now is a topic of Atma Gnana, so Shankaracharya Ji himself become the Purva Pakshi and he raised the question, how can you identify this portion is only for Karmi and Upasaka and not for Atma Gnani? How can you say? Because totally junk, you know, totally topic was over. So how can you identify only 1 to 8 are only for Atma Gnana and from 9th onward is for Karmata. How can we find out? So he himself, so what I have written is nothing but what is given in our Bhashya only. So Purva Pakshi I have written, he has just raised the question, Katham Avagamyate. How can I understand this, uh, this mantra is not for everyone? Natu Sarvesham, here the meaning of Sarvesham means karma, karmatha, upasaka, and atmagnani. So, how you can able to say this is not for atmagnani? So, now Shankara says, is just give the whole explanation. This mantra is not for atmagnani, but this mantra is only for karma and upasaka. How I am telling this Shankara says, just I have put in proper way, so for you it is easy to understand. Nothing else. I am just written same Bhashya, but with Anvaya I have put here. So in Bhashya it says, Uchyate, please be patient. I will tell you how can this portion is not for Atmagnani, 
and how this Kosha told only for Upasaka. So Uchyate means is being said. So he says, Atma Gnani, we have seen. So Akaminaha Sadhana Sadhya Upamardena, because is that word is this Akaminaha. The why this Shankaraja has used word for Atma Gnani? Akami means one who doesn't have any desire is called Akami. These people, Upasaka and another people, Karmata, both are Kamis. Both would, this uh, Karmata would like to Swarga and Upasaka would like to go better Loka, some higher Loka. So these both are called uh, Sakami Bhakta. So they performing karma. By performing karma, somebody will go to Swarga. is called Sakama. And this Upasaka will go some good loka. But this Atma Gnani is not desired to go anywhere. That's why Shankara has written the word Akami. You know, there is a, we have seen in Puranas, whenever there is a tapas is there, the devatas come and they create some hindrance, some vignas, one who are doing tapas. Suppose Vishwamitra, we have known, Vishwamitra was doing tapas for becoming a Brahmarshi. So Menka has come, then Trishunku, so all stories. Why devata are creating or putting so much hindrance, vigna, when these all rishis are doing tapas? The reason is the devatas are afraid. If this, uh, this Rushi will do good, better tapas than me, then my post of Indra may go. Even my post of something may go. That's why they create always Vignas. Then they just leave it. That Rushi doesn't do. Same way. It's just not here topic. But they always create problem for Rishi. Maybe Gruhastha, but he says, for sannyasi, this devtas, if sannyasi is real sannyasi, then this devta never create any problem. So why? So he says, whenever sannyas, sannyasi take vow of sannyasa, there is a first vow is, I am not interested in any post. Post means not here. Narendra Modi means prime minister post, but post of Indra, post of higher post. So they just declare all, all devatas, you should not worry about me. I am not interested in any post, so leave me alone. This is why the sannyasi is first of all. So when he just say, I am not interested, then they never touch sannyasi. That's why I say real sannyasi. Nowadays, there are many sannyasi. They are interested in something, but real sannyasi's vow is I am not interested in any. Up to Brahma Loka, you are out of danger. So I never compete you. Even I perform japa, even I perform upasna, not for any post sake, for Indra post or Brahmaji post. I will perform to japa only for my chitta shuddhi. Only for my sake, nothing else. Then the sannyasi are safe. But these rushis, if they're performing different type of rituals or japa, they create the problem because they are afraid. That's why Shankaracharya has purposefully written in his Bhashyam, Akamina, Atma Gnani, he doesn't have any type of interest. Even in after death, and even by living in this life, this gnani doesn't have any type of interest. And in why? So he says everything is sadhana sadhya upamardena. If you would like to keep your book in front of you, everything is written. But I have put so we can understand only. So this akami naham is atma gnani. He has just upamarda means he has just destroyed. He has kept aside what sadhana and sadhya. Sadhan is karma, sadhan may be upasana. And sadhya may be for karma swarga. 
इन साध्य में भी हायर लोग बट आत्मा ज्ञानी is upamardi he is not really anything interested in a old type and why to shankara ji is quoted a mantra we have seen yasmin sarvani bhutani atmeva bhut ekatva anpashyata so i have just put in anvaya form to yasmin atmani in which atma in which consciousness of person vijanata <laughs> सो आत्मज्ञानी पुरात्मज्ञानी सर्वाणि भूतानि आत्म एव अभूत फॉर दैट पर्सन एवरीथिंग ऑल बीइंग्स आर नथिंग बट मी वन सो देयर इज नो मोर एनी टाइप ऑफ लॉन्गिंग एनी डिजायर इन दिस पर्सन एकत्वम अनुपश्यत ही सी एवरीथिंग ओनली वननेस फॉर सच पर्सन का शोक है कह मोह he doesn't have any delusion he doesn't have any sorrow because this all people karma tha and even pasaka because of something problem they are keep on performing if i will get i will do i will get this shankara ji say this type of yat gnanam uktam when to in eighth month not eighth but seventh month so in this atma gnanam is possibility of any karma or any upasana it cannot be possible that's why it is written here kenachit shankara this is everything is in if you want to check is in shankar bhashya but i have putting with our understanding kenachit by any one by any karma karma na means any karma either karmana means by karma or either bar upasane na amuda means atma gnani na samucchi samucchi chishati what i say samuchchayam samuchchayam ichchati is called samucchi chishati this is very difficult word for you it's samuchchayam samuchchayam ichchati like jiji vishet Same. So, but here na ichchati, so na samuchchayam ichchati, because this atma gnani doesn't have any interest in any loka. So, samuchchayam of what? Gnana in karma means gnana means here upasana and karma. So, this gnani never desire. combination of upasana and karma and by performing upasana and karma that person would like to go somewhere na samuchchi chishati na samuchchaya michati so why that's why this shloka is not belongs to atma gnana this shloka is belong to karma tha in upasaka so in this way he has just rule out this mantra is not for atmagnani because atmagnani is not interested in any lokas and shankara ji has written one more word ihatu means ih means asmin shloke samuchchi chaya avidvat ninda kriyate so in in this mantra what has been done he says ninda kriyate the criticize being done by who shruti on create is a passive the ninda is create the critic is done by who we can say shruti on but ninda of who he says avidvat that person is atma gnani here avidvat avidvat may be karma tha also avidvat may be upasaka also so for such ninda is being done शंकर the milk of my dream and that rice of my this vyavaharik satta i would like to combine can it possible 
cannot possible. Same way, samuchay can be possible with the same interest. It says, samuchaya yena sambhavati. The combination can be possible by what? That, that only, that, that only, asmin vishaya in this topic is being said. So here there is a no combination with let me take plus atma gnanam, then I will go to Brahma Loka. It is a useless thing. That's why samuchaya yena yasya sambhavati. That combination can be possible with whom and of whom yayataha shastrata, which is given in shastra and which is given logical. Then only we can have combination. Otherwise, we start combination of anything. It cannot be possible. So this is more we will see tomorrow. Om Puranavada Puranamidam Puranat Puranamodachyate Puranasya Puranamadhaya Puranamema Vashishyabu Om Shanti 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 Hare Om Shri Guru Yonamaha Hari Om